Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So, ooh, look at this, we're going to fit. I've got a Weber carburetor. And yes, if you've ever seen Ghostbusters, this is a Geiger counter. We're going to check for paranormal activity. No, oh, this is a uh, tune-up analyzer, speedograph, tachyograph. We're going to check the RPMs. I'm going to do the timing quickly again. Someone had mentioned that I had, I always had the revs way, way too high when I was doing the timing. Good point. Let's do the timing again. Need to get the timing set to 1.21 gigawatts. Beep, 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 beep. Right. We're going to give the clutch a quick adjustment, and then we're going to set the RPMs. If you don't know what RPMs stand for, it stands for ripums. <laughs> revs per minute. It is revs per minute, isn't it? it? Doesn't mean revs per minute, doesn't it? Aye. And then we're going to unbox this baby and get her fitted. Oh. With the engine up to temperature, I disconnected the vacuum advance and I brought the revs down to about between five and six hundred. And here I am disconnecting the distributor, disconnecting the distributor, loosening the distributor. So I can do the timing. Got a bit of cardboard jam down there because of the right I couldn't see the light. Right, timing set, clutch cable all sweet. You saw I've just gone for a little rip there and on the Zenith carb that, well, I know it hasn't been rebuilt for at least 10 years and it's performing pretty cool on that, like, apart from the, the idle jet on it, the idle jet's a bit iffy when she's warming up, but apart from that, pulling much better than the Stromberg on it. I'm not distant Stromberg, I'm just saying, like, that one, who knows, anyway, but anyway, the rebuild kits for these Zeniths were over 50 quid, so I thought, let's go for a Weber, eh? So... Let's fit the Weber. It's unreal how much of a tip this garage is, and I really need to get it sorted. How many times have I said that? Oh, baby. <laughs> well, it come to the dark side. Shall I? I think I will make it. I forgot any uh, kunufa cauliflower pipe anywhere. Did I order some? Got the copper stuff. I might get some kunufa, kunfa, kunufa, cauliflower wire, cauliflower, you know, the cauliflower wire pipe. And make a new fuel line for a. I'm putting this on for now, but we'll just cut into the old fuel line and put it on, you know, the, the hard line, maybe. Because I haven't got much time left to make a video today. There. Bought it from the Weber website. I actually bought the, the spacer insulator, the block with the. It's got the gaskets on. Let's Weber it up, baby. You know the drill. I've took a carb off and put one back on a thousand times on these videos. Flathead screwdriver takes off the clamp to take off the air intake, and a half inch spanner takes off the hard line to the carburetor. Two half inch bolts what am i doing here two half inch bolts on the base of the carburetor i also have to disconnect the choke cable and the accelerator cable of course look around your garage forever to look for the right spanner and kind of find it and use some pliers instead and what you want to do is wear nitrile gloves and make sure you put your hand on the hot manifold and the, the hot radiator with them as well. Two half inch bolts secure the Weber to the intake. The fuel intake on this Weber is here, pointing that way. What would people do? I'm just doing a makeshift one for now. Safe. But I'm going to cut into the hard line here, so that means the fuel pipe's going to twist down to there, but it's... Maybe cut it a bit, but... It's away from heating that. Well, what would people do? Would they just take it directly from the fuel pump down here? Just rubber hose it to there? Or would they have some, do you need some sort of hard line? Or just a decent pipe? I, I don't know what he's writing. What he's writing. Has anyone got a Weber carb on their Viva HC 1256? Anyone watching? Was yours like this with the, the fuel line intake there? 
I know, I know someone had emailed us about uh, theirs and sent us pics, but I couldn't find them. Using the pipe slice to cut into the fuel line here. I'm going to attach the fuel pipe into it for now. Clean it up with some wear wool here, get the paint off it. Like I said, just a temporary fuel line for now to get it running. Need to mock some of it up proper. Tighten the clamps up. Connecting the accelerator cable, which is a bit of a pain at the back here. Just been looking all over for my little spanners for the choke cable thingy, me Bob, and uh, I found them eventually. It wasn't easy though, because uh, look at the state of this. What a tip, eh? I know it's been messy before, but what a tip. Been getting some a few things out of storage, like my engine stand. Be nice to get an engine on that, eh? And a box full of goodies and some angle line and some metal and crap for future videos. But uh, I really, really need a tidy. What a tip. In fact, I'll be up tomorrow morning at five o'clock and I'm going to make a start on tidying the garage. There's none of hours in the day. Here I am connecting up the choke cable, which is a bit of a fiddly job. Right, they will go all connected up, accelerator cable connected up, clutch cable connected up, fuel line connected up, although it isn't the best, it's temporary for now, safe. If it causes any problems, then we'll rectify it, but there we go, the fuel line's going like that. Again, what would people do? Would they have, like, is it okay to have a pipe coming straight from the pump to the carb, like maybe a braided one or something like that, going over the top of the rocker? Or what? What do we think? Or do we need some sort of hard line coming round? Again, the fuel intakes on this side over here. But, uh, aye, comments and questions below, please. Uh, fire in the hole, let's fire up. Actually, back in advance. No. <laughs> right, as you could see, fuel was peeing out of there, so stopped that, and I went to make another fuel line, like a hard line out of this, but thinking it was the thickness, but it's the exact same thickness as that. So I've ran a hose directly from the fuel pump to the carb for now. It's it just fits like I don't like how close to the coil the fuel pump is, and I people mount them in another place, don't they? I might mount my coil somewhere else. If people remounted the coil anywhere on the Viva, like over here on the wing or something, would be good, wouldn't it? Could you? Could you? Could you do that? Anyway, let's kick her over and see if there's any fuel leaks. Now watching this back to do the voiceover, I'm thinking, do I have to do the timing again with having the new carb on it? Because the engine does seem like it, it was going, when I first kicked it over, it was racing like the clappers. And I'm thinking, well I'll definitely, I'll, put, I'll stick a new set of spark plugs in there as well for the next vid. I'll double check my coil, because there was oil dripping from the bottom, but I'm not sure if that's the coil knackered split or if it's just coming from the engine. The engine's idling canny high. And uh, I don't know, it sounds like <laughs> it's not responsive like crazy. And I've turned in the idle screw and I don't want to turn it anymore. Feel you know, when that spring on it, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, my choke cable's not working, I don't know if it's snapped or what. So, <laughs> so that needs fixed. Also, I'm not sure if I've got a leak in my coil 
you know the coil of the oil fill there might be a little leak in my coil so before anything I need to order up a new coil I think yeah I don't know what I don't know what's happened to the choke cable but unless it snapped inside it's not moving with that <coughs> oh well so to sum it up choke cable is not working and it seems like it's massively over revving with the Weber even though I backed off the accelerator thing and I think I've put the the idle mixture all the way as far as in as it'll go I don't want to turn it anymore because that spring on it you know it starts to get really tight I don't know I don't know comments below please yeah well plus it seemed like it was revving up and down a little bit could my straight from the fuel pump to the carb pipe have anything to do with it there's got to be a flat when it comes to, I don't know let's read the book sir oh, hang on a minute well I've run out of time now plus it's getting a bit late to be revving the hoochies off her uh, revving the hoochies off her have I just made that up anyway did you see that the linkage between the the throttle and the choke it popped off a split pin had come off so I'll have to have a look for that, it's probably fell down in between the intake and the top of the, the rocker. But anyway, do I have to do, did you, the engine was racing, but not off sound of response when you put your foot down, like, whoa, the engine was like jumping out of her. But uh, do I have to do the timing again? Now there's another carb on that, maybe because the engine was racing, I have to do the timing. Plus, thoughts and comments on the fuel, fuel line bit, what will I do? I haven't been sent the wrong carb ever, like with that, the, pe the fuel intake being on, where it is compared to where it normally is. Anyone with a Weber on a Viva, please let us know, we'll get in touch. Uh, but I'm sure we'll get to the bottom of it. We'll, we'll crack on next time. Like I say, I've run out of time now. It's Dad Duty's call. Thank you all very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next one. Behind your frozen eyes, skies are hit and laughter. Make me feel just one more thing than I. And even though that I despise the thing you're after, realize you're something more than I.